It's the 4th of July! Woo woo! Woo! And this, this water. was water. It really, it really is water. Because <laughs> you have to stay hydrated. It's That's the 4th of July. What's that? Up your vine? Well, it's a little girl and she's like, it's the 4th of July. Monster. <laughs> and water <laughs> and water. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. All right, we're about to take uh, Jasmine and Brandon are about to take Jasmine to the ER because uh, Miles broke her ankle. We think because and Nikki, Nikki is giving her the love humps. This is love. This is love. All right. Nikki's gonna hold it down here. We're gonna take Jazz. happened was Miles. Why don't you come on over here, Miles? Let's see who calls this Come on. Miles, step right on up. The man of the hour. Miles is making fun of my sandals. So I got, I got my water and I poured it Wait, on him. Wait, is that video? Yeah, for my vlog. She was being racist, calling me Caucasian. <laughs> so I tried to throw her in the pool. And she pulled a Simon Birch and got a gimp leg. <laughs> body rolled. My body I rolled. thought he was going to be the one that got hurt. <laughs> This is the fam. Come, come, come. Stay in school. This is the We Love Jazz and fam, so we're going to take her to uh, the hospital. We're like from West Virginia. We beat the ones we love. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I was like, I'm like, anyway. I can't go any further. Friendship. Oh, friendship. It hurts. My arms hit. Yeah. Well, the people put towels and hats. Oh, that's, oh, you got to, yep. Brandon is like TMZ. <laughs> We are here live with Jasmine Garcia's. No filming, no filming. No pictures, no pictures. Please, no filming. Wait, wait, Jazz. Jazz, I'm so tired. I just want everybody to know that I'm Jasmine Garcia, the other one, and this is my best friend, and literally, she's hurt, and I'm actually nervous, but I'm trying I'm to make cut, jokes. I'm going to cut this out of the video, but... Oh. Here. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 She's supposed to leave for Gymshark London. It and less than 24 hours. I'm supposed to be on a plane. It's 6.30 right now. I'm supposed to be on a plane at 3.30 tomorrow. And this is the current state. The timing is uncanny. Uncanny. I was surrounded by doctors because like everybody that was there, they're doctors and like one of them was a nurse. And I was like, guys, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. And they're like, your no. face is immediately swollen within like yeah. a minute. And it's black and blue and it's turning purple. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> And you're trying to like psych yourself out. I'm, I like underestimate my pain all the time. Like mm -hmm. I wanted to cry and I sucked that right up into my butthole because I did not want to cry. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't walk as soon as, as no, soon as she got out of the pool, she couldn't walk. So Brandon carried her, we put some ice on it, but it was already black and blue. So it's not a good sign. So we're going to see what the doctors say. We're on our way there. Jasmine's got my back so heavy right now. So awkward. <laughs> Jasmine has a bed. Uh, I feel like this is, first I was on crutches, then I was in a wheelchair. And now I'm in a bed, but to be honest, my ankle hurts really bad. Smile through the pain. You gotta like make these moments humorous. They're not, it's not funny at all, but. It's not funny. <laughs> I'm really upset. Like... I wanted to just watch fireworks tonight. We have a room and honestly, Jazz just made them, her fans, because she comes in here. And she goes, hey guys, happy 4th of July. And they all started cracking up laughing. And meanwhile, well. Let's see. So far, Kaiser has excellent customer service. And the mm -hmm. woman that helped me at the front had a beautiful bracelet. It That's beautiful. okay. beautiful. And it made her smile. It did. Trying she, she, smile. cause she just wants to get out of here on 4th of July. <laughs> Nobody wants to be here on 4th of July. All right, stay tuned. You're making this vlog so lit, Jess. <laughs> guys can see what the hold on this is actually a lot better <laughs> to be fair. well it's because okay keep in mind she had three ibuprofens and it was wrapped like tight so oh no 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 that does not look very good no it does not but it looks better than before all right well we're gonna get x-rays end of a very long day and this is the result not broken not fractured just sprained but sprained is enough to wear a boot very painful <laughs> yes so London this is who you're gonna be seeing you didn't have to like start walking around in the pie right now. As I am. <laughs> I feel like I should quickly update you guys <laughs> on what happened with my ankle because it kind of like happened out of nowhere and then and like you'll see that the next part of the vlog I don't even acknowledge it at all. So today's July 17th. It's been two weeks since I sprained my ankle and I feel like everything just got so dramatic so fast but long story short uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram then you really don't know what happened but 
Fourth of July, me, Miles, Nikki, Sammy, Jazzy, Brendan, like we were all, uh, we were all like hanging out by the pool. We act like children. And we had a water balloon fight in Nikki's apartment the day prior to, and so he started making fun of my sandals that I was wearing. <laughs> he was calling them Jesus 12s because, <laughs> <laughs> because to be fair they kind of look like that and so I jokingly poured water down the back of him uh, Keep in mind we're by a pool. It's not like you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't bad And so as a joke he went to throw me in the pool But I like resisted because as any girl would they resist and so uh, He stumbled and dropped me on the cement <laughs> literally on the cement would have been fine but the way that I fell my ankle was behind me and um, yeah and so then he fell over too and then he ended up falling into the pool which was hilarious and then he grabbed me and still pulled, threw me into the pool and so like we all kind of thought it was a joke until I couldn't put pressure on my foot and like you guys saw like my foot was so I don't know if you guys actually saw it, but it was so swollen and it was so purple and blue and green it was so gross and I just remember they were like alright get out of the pool like see if you can walk on it and I was like uh, no I want to stay in the water because it was just like floating and it felt really nice where it was long story short the people that we were hanging out with um, they're actually all doctors and they were like okay you need to go to the ER because this is swelling up way too fast it might be broken and I was like I feel like if it was broken I'd be in a lot more pain but they were like you just never know so we went and I got my x-rays and everything and it was not broken it was just a pretty like I guess like an average sprain and I had to oh hello <laughs> hello Prince and so the doctor that I had was actually the worst person ever like he was not a good like bedside doctor whatsoever uh, but Jazzy came with me and long story short it was a sprain and then I flew to London the next day and I almost got rejected by British Airways to like catch my flight because of the fact that if it swelled if it swelled on the plane then I would I, they would have to do an emergency landing all this stuff and I was like you guys I'll be fine I have my boot on I have my crutches just let me just let me through damn it so I ended up having to upgrade to business, which is like, wow, you had to upgrade to business, but I mean, it was not a fun expense by any means, but I had to do it because the doctor said that I have to have my foot elevated. Like, they had to call the ER and everything, like the number, because I had to bring them papers, and then they were like, well, we have to have the medical team examine you, and then we have to call the ER. Just like, it was so extra. It was really, really extra, but... Anyway, within like three three days, I was walking on my foot again, um, but the doctor said I couldn't train lower body for... 10 to 15 days, 10 to, so I just did two weeks no training because I did not want to risk anything. So um, today is actually going to be my first day training at the gym again, but you guys won't see that footage for this video. You'll see it in my next vlog, but I just figured I'd let you guys know what was going on. So yeah, I've been having a lot of like random hurdles, I feel. Like it was my neck, and then it was my neck, and then it was my ankle. So, I don't know. I'm just telling myself that at the end of the day, I'd rather have it be a bunch of really small inconveniences like this than one like really massive thing like an accident or a terminal illness. So, yes, these things are slowing me down strength-wise, but I'm still going to the gym as much as I can. I still went to the gym as much as I could, I should say. And I'm back to the gym five times a week again um, now. So, I don't want you guys to think that this is just me not training. It's like... I don't know if I have a poltergeist that's messing with me or what, but like, I just, I keep hurting myself. So hopefully this is the end of it and I can, I don't know, I don't even want to knock on wood. I don't even want to say anything. I'm just going to roll with it and hope for the best. So that's an update on what happened with my ankle. Now you know, I'm totally good. Uh, it's been two weeks and I was able to walk after three to four days and it was still really bruised, but it doesn't look bruised anymore. Yeah. Okay, so now you know about what happened with my ankle, and that's the last we'll talk about it because there's no sense in talking about it now. It's, it's over. So, anyway, let the vlog continue. The jet lag is so bad. Went to bed at 7 p.m. last night. It's now 6.30 in the morning. It's really cool because, like, you know, I wake up and I have really productive days, and I feel like I have so much of the day to actually enjoy because there's not really traffic at this time at least in the downtown area but it does not stop the truth or the fact that I did sleep for nearly 12 hours okay how cool are my shoes 
<laughs> you guys actually might think these are atrocious and grandma like, but I got them at Nordstrom's and they were on sale and they're so comfortable. They're like grandma vans. <laughs> All right, so I'm currently at Starbucks. The time is 8.45, and I basically just had bagel, some fruit, and my favorite strawberry acai refresher, but I feel really good. The fact that I, like, I've been here since like 8.15 or something, and I've been so productive. Like, who would have thought that being like super jet lagged would be effective for me? So hopefully it remains this way, but I wasn't in the floor strong group for the last few days because I was in London and the time was all off and I was busy a lot so I'm just taking some time to get back to all of these posts now and respond to everybody. But I'm so proud of these girls. There's like 320 of them in this group and they're so supportive of one another and they're killing it. Like these girls are getting so strong and it makes me so happy inside while I'm over here with the messed up, jacked up angles. So I'm vicariously living through them, but taking some time to go ahead and, you know, leave some support. And Omar joined the group too, so he's been really helpful in here too. But yeah, just knocking out some work in a fairly crowded Starbucks. This was once filled with food, and now it has all my old mail and junk. So I'm just gonna get this done. These girls are so good. I love them. By the way, Got my nails done yesterday. I decided to switch to acrylic um, because I love, love, love my nail girl at Lux Nail Spa, but I think that acrylic is gonna be better for what I'm currently doing with my nails, and I know they don't do that over there. They only do regular gel, but look at how good they look. Ooh, I'm so happy. Here we go. How you doing? Oh, you, you made a video finally? I, it's like a, like a quick video. Like yeah, like I, an Instagram one. Yeah, yeah. Getting my hair done. It's been so long. I haven't seen Sam in like three months. Months. Thank God she still likes me. And Bo's here. Making magic happen. Hello. I'm in Prince and he's being so good. Okay, don't lick the lens. Alright guys, just got my hair done. This is how it looks after. And I know I've been getting a lot of questions about like how I style my hair and I never respond because I don't style my hair, but I get the most questions when it's like this. So, I was talking to Sam, and I think if you guys want, make sure to like the video if you want this, but we're thinking of filming like a tutorial on how she does it and then how you guys can do it from home. I just go to her because she's my girl, and if you're in LA, you should do the same. But I feel like that would be a good video, and I feel like you guys would really appreciate that. So make sure to like the video, comment below, and we'll make that happen. All right, Nikki and I are getting ready to head to a Knicks event that our manager invited us to. Fun fact, Nikki and I have the same manager, and uh, it's really cool because she just basically invites us to all the cool PR events in Los Angeles. And right now, we are heading to a Knicks one, so it should be fun. I'm literally bringing this big ass camera, don't judge me. I feel like, oh no, you're bringing your camera too? <laughs> all right, we're here at the Knicks event, made it up all the floors, got our lovely, amazing manager, Megan Savage, getting us into all of the best See, events. Beauty events. Beauty events have a ring light. You know what fitness events don't have? A ring light. I know, they have overhead lighting. We have terrible what does that mean? <laughs> muscles might look okay, everything else looks terrible. But when you have no muscles, it does not work in your favor, either way. Hi. What's the best one? Um, a lot of people have been ordering the Sunset Boulevard. That does honestly sound amazing. I will do the Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> I'm like, wow, am I filming a movie? Maybe. I don't know. That was so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, we are now leaving the next event. It has been a success. The girl, the little sister from Shameless, showed up. I don't even know if you can hear me right now, but she showed up and lost my shit. So. <laughs> Snap. I got back from London only to find that Woman's Best has a whole freaking vegan collection. Like, what? What? Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. I have to try all of this. 
Oh my gosh, it's not stopping. I don't know how I feel. Okay, so they sent me all of this stuff from their new like vegan, kind of like healthy, fruity collection. So these are just BCAAs. We could talk about those another day and I already have chia seeds, but they came out with the unflavored vegan protein and a chocolate vegan protein. And then a whole bunch of stuff, which is gonna be great for like adding to smoothies. Cause you guys know I have my, um, my Vitamix. So I'm excited. This is so cool. Way to go, Woman's Best. I'll probably do a taste test in my next vlog, but I just figured I'd share that with you guys. So if you guys are vegan and you've been looking for a vegan protein powder, Woman's Best has it now, and I feel like they actually have like very, very good prices for their stuff. Um, and yeah, you can find a taste test in the next video, in the next vlog. I didn't really get the chance to end the vlog properly uh, on that NYX event night because I ended up dropping <laughs> my DSLR. Because who brings a DSLR? Who vlogs with the DSLR besides Casey Neistat? Apparently I tried that and it did not work for me, so thankfully I have the accidental plan with Best Buy, so I went ahead and turned that into them, and I'm back to using my RX100 M4, but I'll be upgrading to the M5. I'm just waiting for it to come in. But anyway, I feel I should properly end the vlog off here. The next two weeks are gonna be fun and filled with a ton of different content. I believe Grace and Whitney are coming to visit next week. My birthday is this Sunday. Birthday festivities will carry on into the next week, but that's just some random stuff. But yeah, that, uh, that should conclude this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna continue vlogging directly after this clip so we can just basically pick up where we left off for the next video. Love you guys so much, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!